Back for the third time today here on the Dallas Cowboys Report as the Cowboys have re-signed wide receiver Michael Gallup. We've got the contract details and the reaction to this move as Dallas locks in there. Number two, wide receiver for 2022 and beyond. Here are the details, and we'll eventually get the actual nitty-gritty, like the cap hit and whatnot, but it's a five-year, $62.5 million deal that includes $27 million guaranteed. For those of you not great at math, that is $12.5 million per year for Michael Gallup. We will spend the entire video, of course, breaking down this particular move. But this keeps Michael Gallup in tow with Dak Prescott, C. Lamb for the next couple of years after the team moved on from Amari Cooper earlier this weekend. The move comes, of course, on the eve of NFL free agency and the illegal tampering period. So give me your one Word reaction to Gallup re-signing with the Dallas Cowboys. Is it is it overpay? Wow, underpay, deal, steal, whatever it is. Let me know what your one word is in the comments right now. My one word is expected. We all knew the Cowboys were going to get a deal done with Michael Gallup. It was a matter of when, not if it got done. And it does get done just before Gallup could officially have tampering going on in free agency. Not that there isn't already plenty of that around the NFL. I do want to make note of this. The cap hit for Michael Gallup will not be $12.5 million in 2022. Frankly, it could be more like $6 million or so. We don't have the structure, how much of the guaranteed is a signing bonus, etc. It's probably got an out after year two or year three. Might be a little bit closer to year three from a practical standpoint on that front. But the cap hit will be lower than the $12.5 million. You save 16 with Amari Cooper. You might be spending six of that or so. That's just a rough guess at this point on Gallup this season. The hope, of course, is that Gallup looks more like 2019 Gallup moving forward. Uh, 2021, injured, banged up, tore that ACL late in the season. And the Cowboys are hopeful but they do not know for certain if he is going to be able to play week one of the 2022 campaign. 2020's numbers did dip compared to 2019 in large part because, well, his quarterback wasn't out there. Gallup and that red zone fade has worked pretty well. I bet that offensive play call comes back a little bit more heavily. He will remain on the outside. You assume CeeDee Lamb is on the outside as well, but maybe you draft a different player, keep Lamb on the slot. We'll see what happens as the offseason moves on. But the Cowboys are paying the market rate for a free agent receiver who probably would have gotten more on the open market. So grade the move for me. A, B, C, D, or F. How you feeling about this one? I'll make this the pinned comments on today's video. So if the ad break comes, take advantage of it. Head down there and drop a grade for me. As mentioned, the Cowboys guaranteed Gallup $27 million. Now, that's not a ton. And think about it from this perspective. Let's say Gallup only plays two years from you. In most cases, the guaranteed money would all have to count for the first two years. You could waive him after two years in this hypothetical scenario. That's just under $14 million per year. Not that much more than his current $12.5 million now. The contract won't quite be structured that way. There's probably some guarantees dipping into the third year. But the Cowboys view Michael Gallup as part of this team's core. And remember, by the way, the longer you go on a contract, the more it costs you per year. That is simply how it works because of the way you're going to structure. Remember what, what, what I just said? How you're going to have it be a six million-ish, maybe seven, whatever it is, cap it in year one. That number will steadily go up and then it will eventually go beyond 12.5 million in years four and years five because the salary cap continues to rise and it's set to jump pretty significantly in the coming years for the Dallas Cowboys. But this move is clear. The length and the money and all of that. Michael Gallup is a part of this Cowboys core as they retool and move forward after a frustrating end to the 2021 season. When the Cowboys make moves, we break it down for you here on the Cowboys Report. So if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe. If you haven't already, youtube.com slash Cowboys TV. If you're watching on Rumble, well, thank you very much. And if you're not already following us on Rumble, go do that. Rumble.com slash Cowboys TV. We dominate the YouTube platform. We're going to dominate Rumble as well. By the way, exclusive video up on Rumble since me and old producer Brett said I couldn't put it 
on YouTube, which I guess it worked out fine timelines with this news. Safety targets in free agency is available. Rumble.com slash Cowboys TV. This is where things sit now for the Cowboys at the wide receiver position. Your top two guys locked in and loaded. CeeDee Lamb and Michael Gallup. Cedric Wilson is a free agent, currently the wide receiver three. Malik Turner, also a free agent that the Cowboys would like to bring back both of those guys if possible. Noah Brown on the roster along with Sini Fayoko, TJ Vasher, Brandon Smith. It's not quite last year's core, but it's not terrible if Gallup is healthy. I would, however, expect Cedric Wilson to leave. I think he'll command some nice money on the open market. I just I think he's going to get more money than what the Cowboys are comfortable playing. Noah Brown is not a Ross lock with his contract. I would bet the Cowboys draft a wide receiver as well. Now, maybe not round one, maybe more like day two, but it depends on what the value looks like for the Cowboys. If a guy that loves there in round one, they will not be afraid to take them. If they want to go offensive line maybe in round one, then go receiver in round two, that's fine. Yes, they spent a fifth-round pick on Timo Fayoko. He did not play at all this past year. Really, like you cannot trust him. Can't really trust Malik Turner who's a free agent. So maybe the Cowboys pass on a receiver altogether, but as a gambling man, I would bet right now they add somebody like in the top 100 in this year's draft. So with this new revamped Cowboys wide receiver core, I want you to rate it for me. Think Madden style here on a scale of 1 to 100. One on the low end, 100 on the high end. The goal, of course, here with Michael Gallup is to get him healthy and make him a key part of this Cowboys offense. Lamb and Gallup, the Cowboys hope as an organization, are the future pieces at wide receiver. Young, and they can complement each other pretty well as they've done so in the past. The timing of this move also keeps Michael Gallup off of the open market. Now, we know how free agency really works. They're able to negotiate and do deals behind the scenes at the Combine and whatever. And Gallup knows how much he would have gotten on the open market. And I would wager to say the Cowboys got him for a little bit less than what he would have gone for if he had just chosen the highest bidder. But the Cowboys, in the end, make no mistake, paid close to market rate, or at least right around market rate. I know that people in the past said no more than $8 million. Verified accounts was never realistic. That was always a very team-friendly deal. Maybe if you got only three years, you could have gotten Gallup closer to $8 million. But think about some of the recent deals that went down. Kenny Galladay gets $18 million, coming off injury on a five-year deal. Jarvis Landry, who might get cut soon, got 15. Robbie Anderson got 14.75. Corey Davis on a three-year deal got 12.5. Keep that in mind. Curtis Samuel, Tim Patrick, guys with 0,000-yard uh, seasons, got over 11 million. Nelson Aguilar got 11. Randall Cobb, who was has had one good year in like five years, the year with the Cowboys and Dak Prescott, got 9 million a year. 8 million was never realistic for Michael Gallup unless he took a very, very friendly, team-friendly contract. That And he said he wanted to get paid what he thought was fair for him. On a five-year deal, it's, um, it's more expensive overall, but it still keeps your cap hits lower at the beginning part of this contract. You take that signing bonus, let's say it's, you know, 20 million. You spread it out over all five years. You're not, Gallup gets 20 million cash this year, but only five, or only four of that counts against the salary cap. You could do a two-ish million dollar base salary and boom, you're paying him just six million on the cap this season. That's one hypothetical, of course. The attention now for the Cowboys will turn to two players, J. Ron Curse and, of course, Randy Gregory. Free agency begins in earnest with the legal time where, where deals will get done on Monday. Monday morning, stuff will continue to happen for the Dallas Cowboys and for America's team. They're going to try to bring back Randy Gregory. We will see what his market looks like but the second the Cowboys traded away Amari Cooper and they made it pretty clear that they were shopping Cooper and didn't want to bring him back anyway they were looking to get something back didn't handle that very well I don't believe they were going to bring back Michael Gallup so he is back under contract a five-year 62.5 million dollar deal we'll see about the structure but the plan is for him to be a key part of this core moving forward 